Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monster bringing you guys another video. Guys, today's video, we're going to talk about something that we have not talked about yet in Season 4. So guys, basically, if Season 3 was all hyped up about the meteor. Everyone was talking about it. There's so many, like, spoilers and things that we found out about it. And I, I really neglected Season 4 for the so far for the past, like, five weeks. And honestly, now that I'm looking at it, there's so much stuff that we don't know about. So in today's video, we're going to cover all the things that we need to know about Season 4, including the storyline. So if you guys don't know, we're talking about the final fight between the Carbide and the Omega. The, the villains versus the superheroes that that we have in this season i mean that's the whole point of season four you guys it was supposed to be the superheroes super villains and stuff like that and there's always a storyline between it and fortnite and that's one thing that i really love about this game is they have a storyline with the multiplayer so not just are we getting a multiplayer experience we're also getting a story to it you guys which is insane because season three there was a whole meteor that's striked and it actually changed the map and in season four so far there's been some updates within the map that we just haven't really noticed or we've been really just avoiding it we just don't talk about it and these are things that we need to talk about because this is going to be introducing us to season five you guys we're going to be able to see what's coming to season five with the clues and spoilers that they have in season four so with that being said guys let's cover the differences between carbide and the villain so starting off we have weekly challenges basically every season but this this season there's been a spoiler or a little twist to it at the end of completing the challenges if you complete like all of week one's challenges you get a little overlay or a loading screen spoiler to basically the, the story between what's been going on so we're gonna cover that first starting off with week one once you completed week one you guys we had a whole movie scene going on and a lot of people it, it basically showed the media striking so this from the image on screen right now automatically what I'm thinking is basically before the media started striking they were doing all this filming and stuff like that so before season three actually ended is when they started getting into like making movies and stuff in the whole Fortnite storyline so that's why you see here they're in the middle of a scene where they're making that's why we have cameras all over the place and stuff like that because they're in the middle of making a movie and then the meteors start striking the Fortnite map and now we're going to move on to the actual week two loading screen so once we completed week two's challenges we have this awesome loading screen that looks i mean it's insane i loved it when it dropped but as you guys can see we have the omega the villain the, the evil guy escaping the prison if you guys don't know the meteor actually striked at the prison cell so it ended up releasing all these convicts and stuff like that so the omega the super villain that's probably how he ended up getting out of the prison was because of the meteor so that was the whole point of weeks two's uh loading screens they wanted to let us know the storyline they wanted to let us know how did the omega get out so basically the meteor hit the prison and that's exactly how he got out so now we're moving on to week three once you get to the week three challenges and complete it you get this loading screen where it shows all the superheroes all the good guys basically in their little headquarters and they're talking about trying to locate where the omega is you guys basically he escaped and now their goal is to try to capture and, and arrest him again because just like any movie whenever somebody bad gets out they're trying to the capture him again the whole point of these weekly challenges is, to, is basically this the loading screens are supposed to tell us a story of what's happening so as you guys can see we can see who what characters they actually make for this game that are on the good side and on the bad side so starting with week four once you complete week four's challenges you have this loading screen right here and this basically shows that the omega is escaped and he's creating his own army he's creating his army of villains and he's trying to do something but we don't know so you guys know know remember when they dropped the robots the metal robots those guys they dropped them for the bad team so they're basically making these characters and skins in season four and they all have a role they all have a place within the storyline so as you guys can see here these skins these characters were released to basically help out omega so people that bought those skins are basically helping omega out now we're moving on to the final week week five challenges guys this is only halfway through the season and already on the loading screen of week five once you complete those we have the epic fight so we basically have have all the superheroes and all the villains meeting up at the prison and they're fighting you guys as you guys can see the, they're fighting in the background we have the the wonder woman looking girl fighting the robot we have the new skin on the far right the fly trap he's actually coming in to fight which he hasn't even been released yet so this is crazy to think that he's going to be released this week there's no doubt about it he's probably coming up in today today is probably going to be his release date that they actually sell him in the item shop and these are just things that we just didn't really notice like we didn't really pay attention but these these were released in order for a specific reason because there's a story to it you guys there's a storyline behind it starting with week one how the meteor hit and then week two omega ended up escaping the prison week three they were starting to try to look for the omega week four we see that omega the the villain the 
the bad guy, the carbon fiber bad guy that you get at uh, the full tier up all the way in the battle pass. He's creating his own army and then week five we have them actually fighting and this is only halfway that they're starting to fight. So week six, seven, eight, nine, and ten we have some crazy things coming you guys. Basically tomorrow week six challenges are going to be released so we're going to see week six loading screen and we're going to know more about the storyline of what's going on. There's so much stuff that we missed out about. Like think about it. Do you guys remember the meteor actually hitting Dusty Depot and it actually destroyed it and it's now Dusty Divot. So this meteor is something different and every week that there's an update within the game that they release new challenges Dusty Divot has a change to it. Also Tilted Towers and all these places where the meteor hit they're actually starting to cover up the meteors and the, they're taking these crack rocks these crystals that give you these powers to jump. They're taking these and they're putting inside of the trucks and the trucks are starting to drive off with these crack rocks. You're not going to see them on the floor anymore unless you go to Dusty Divot but everywhere else they're literally in the back of the semi trucks getting ready to be shipped off somewhere random and we don't know exactly that location but I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit later on in this video but for now we're going to talk about Dusty Divot and, and the whole meteor so once the meteor hit at first uh, we just saw the, the massive crater that the meteor hit then every week we started seeing the biohazard team coming in and they're actually ending up closing off the meteor so that way the public eye can't see it and they make these tunnels and stuff like that and we're seeing all these different things happening inside of Dusty Divot every week that we update we're starting to see the, the meteor actually open up and now we can see there's a machine inside of the actual meteor. Now who knows what this actually can be. Some people think that it's going to be an alien. Some people think that it's going to be uh, some creature but it, as you guys can see it looks like an engine. It looks like something like that and if you guys don't know they have a super villain layer on the side of the mountain by Snobby Shores and they also have a superhero mansion over at the top side where Lonely Lodge is. So we basically have these, these headquarters for the villains and the superheroes and they're split off. If you go to the villain side they have a massive rocket that they look like they're trying to shoot off into the sky so I think Omega's plan is to try to destroy all of the Fortnite map in my opinion these these are just my opinions on what we're going to see in Fortnite I think by the end of season four by the end of it all Omega's going to actually get the rocket shot off and it's going to destroy all of Fortnite it's going to completely destroy the map and that's why we're going to see a brand new map in season five you guys and honestly I've, I've seen stuff on reddit talking about they've looked into the codings and there's been leaked information of people saying there's going to be a new map in Fortnite. So if you think about it, how can we get a new map with a storyline? This this rocket that we have going off, and if you go to Wailing Woods, there's a, a underground bunker and stuff like that. So it means that the people are starting to worry because they know about the rocket. So this rocket that we're gonna see at the villain layer is actually going to end up blowing up the whole entire map. Now, how is this thing going to be fueled? I think the meteor, the thing that we're seeing at the middle of Dusty Divot, that is the engine to the rocket, you guys. That is basically what's going to give the, the rocket the engine to actually take off. Now, we need power. Somehow, this rocket's going to need power and we have all these crack rocks these crystals laying around the map that gives all these humans supernatural powers they're all being driven off towards the snobby shores if you guys look at the pickup trucks they're all facing the same exact direction they're all facing snobby shores where the the villain layer is so i think that these rocks are all being driven to snobby shores and these this is what's going to power the engine of the rocket and now comes the question of how how are they going to get the the massive meteor the massive engine all the way over to the rocket so this this is where Flytrap, the new super villain, comes into play. Because if you guys think about it, what is Flytrap? He he looks like a, a leaf type of villain. He can make leaves and stuff like that. He looks like a plant, basically. So he's a super villain. If you guys don't remember from week five's challenges when they're all fighting, he's fighting with Omega. He's fighting with the villain. So he's a bad guy within the storyline. So I think Flytrap, if you look at Dusty Divot, it's starting to get vegetation. It's starting to get trees and grass growing within the inside of Dusty Divot. Some of you guys probably notice it and you're like, oh crap, they're actually starting to grow trees and a lot of people just automatically think oh that's nature nature's gonna end up growing grass where grass needs to be grown because there's soil the, the sun shining there's rain whatever whatever happens grass is gonna grow there if there was grass there before but if you really take a second and think about it maybe this is flytrap's superpower maybe this is what flytrap is doing is he's trying to grow his grass there so he can end up taking the rocket the engine and bringing it all the way to snobby shores i don't know how he's gonna do that but he's maybe trying to take over dusty divot he's probably trying to kill all the the, the the people that are looking 
looking after the rocket and the meteor and stuff like that and he's going to end up taking the rocket the engine and bringing it to omega which is the master plan and so far this is all we know behind the storyline of what's been going on in fortnite we've all been playing the game having fun trying to get better but there is a storyline behind it that we've been just avoiding we just i have not actually me myself i have not been really paying attention to it but the other day i, I literally sat there and thought like what's going on with all these things and also thanks to the help of other people like reddit and stuff like that where we can actually find out these clues because people notice things and that's that's really good that they're noticing this because we can actually come together as a community and find out what's going on with the fortnite map and what's going to be happening in season five well, that's it that's all we need to know so far in week five of season four of what's been going on with the map and what we need to expect so coming with season six tomorrow there's going to be a new loading screen if you guys really want me to make a video talking about season six or week six a loading screen and you guys want me to explain what i think about that and what's going to happen in the future if that changes anything and with the map update update and map changes you guys just got to give this video a thumbs up if you guys can smash that like button i appreciate that more than anything share this video with your friends let your friends know about this because this is cool information just to show so if your friends know about this that'll definitely be something really cool that you guys can talk about and just relate to with all that being said if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button we're so close to 150,000 subscribers it would be awesome if we can hit that sometime this month i don't know if it'll happen it's really up to you guys and also we're doing a giveaway if you do not have enough money and you can't afford like the flat trap skin that's coming out today or maybe tomorrow guys we're doing a giveaway on my twitch channel all you got to do is go to twitch.tv slash exotic motion be in the live stream it's today basically at like five or six o'clock eastern standard time we're going to be live for about four hours we're going to be picking four winners that are going to get the fly trap skin for free you guys and again we're not that big of a streaming channel we don't have like thousands of people in there so your chances of winning are even higher just by coming to the live stream so guys hope to see you guys all there we're doing four giveaways four winners and i'll see you guys in the next video peace